Recipe of Chicken Little When Chicken Little was in the woods one day, an acorn fell on her head. She thought that the sky was falling, so she ran to tell the king. On the way, she met Henny Penny. Where are you going, Chicken Little? asked Henny Penny. The sky is falling, and I'm going to tell the king. I will go with you, if I may, said Henny Penny. And away they both ran. Soon they met Cocky Locky. Where are you going, Henny Penny? asked Cocky Locky. The sky is falling, and I am going with Chicken Little to tell the king. I will go with you, if I may, said Cocky Locky. And they all ran down the road. When they came to the pond, they saw Ducky Lucky. Where are you going, Cocky Locky? asked Ducky Lucky. The sky is falling, and we are going to tell the king. I will go with you, if I may, said Ducky Lucky. And away they went. Next, they met Goosey Lucy. Where are you going, Ducky Lucky? asked Goosey Lucy. The sky is falling, and we are going to tell the king. I will go with you, if I may, said Goosey Lucy. Let us run fast. At the top of the hill, they met Turkey Lurkey. Where are you going, Goosey Lucy? asked Turkey Lurkey. The sky is falling, and we are going to tell the king. I will go with you, if I may, said Turkey Lurkey, and they all ran down the hill. Foxy Loxy heard them coming and ran out to meet them. Where are you going, he asked. The sky is falling, and we are going to tell the king. They cried, Come with me, and I will show you the way, said Foxy Loxy. So Foxy Loxy led Chicken Little, Henny Penny, Cocky Locky, Ducky Lucky, and Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lurkey across the field and through the woods. He led them straight into his den, and they never saw the king to tell him that the sky was falling. Sing a song of six pence. Sing a song of six pence. A pocket full of rye. Four and twenty black birds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? The king was in, in his house counting, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes, when down came a black bird and pecked off her nose. The Foolish Rabbit, a folk tale from India. Once upon a time, a rabbit was asleep under a palm tree all at once he woke up and thought, What if the world should break into pieces? What would happen to me then? At that moment, some monkeys up in the tree dropped a coconut. It fell down on the ground, thump, bump, just behind the rabbit. Hearing the noise, the rabbit cried, Help! Help! The world is breaking into pieces! and he jumped up and ran just as fast as he could without even looking back to see what made the noise. Another rabbit saw him running and called after him, What are you running so fast for? Don't ask, he cried. Can't stop, must run. But the other rabbit ran after him, begging to know what the matter was. Then the first rabbit said, Don't you know? The world is breaking into pieces! And on the run, and the second rabbit ran with him. Then they met another rabbit, and he too ran with them. When he heard that the world was breaking into pieces, one rabbit after another joined them. Under there were hundreds of rabbits running as fast as they could. They passed the deer and called out to him that the world was breaking into pieces. Then the deer ran with them too.
The deer called out to the fox to come along because the world was breaking into pieces. On and on they ran, and soon an elephant joined them. At last, the lion saw the animals running and heard their cry that the world was breaking into pieces. He thought there must be some mistake, so he ran to the foot of a hill in front of them and roared three times. They all stopped in their tracks, for they knew the voices of the king of beasts, and they feared him. Now, said the lion, tell me, why are you running so fast? Oh, king lion, they answered him, the world is breaking into pieces. Who saw it breaking, asked the lion. You, elephant, did you see it? No, I didn't, said the elephant. Ask the fox, he told me about it. I didn't see it, said the fox. The deer told me. The rabbits told me about it, said the deer. One after another, one of the rabbits said, I didn't see it, but another rabbit told me about it. At last, the lion came to the rabbit, who had first said the world was breaking into pieces. Well, now, said the lion, Is it true that the world is breaking into pieces? Yes, O lion, it is, said the rabbit, his voice shaken with fright. I was asleep under a palm tree. I woke up and thought, what would happen to me if the world should break into pieces? At that very moment, I heard the sound of the world breaking up and I ran away. Then, said the lion, you and I will go back to that place where the world began to break up and see what the matter is. So the lion put the little rabbit on his back and away they went. Like the wind, the other animals waited for them at the foot of the hill. The rabbit told the lion when they were near the place where he slept and the lion saw just where the rabbit had been sleeping. He saw two the coconut that had fallen to the ground nearby. Then the lion said to the rabbit, it must have been the sound of the coconut falling to the ground that you heard. You foolish rabbit. The lion ran back to the other animals and told them all about it. And it is good that he did, for had it not been for the wise king of the beasts, they might all be running still.